Hello, everybody. My name is Grab Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Uh, still demonetized by YouTube. They just pulled a, a video about Bill Gates blocking the vaccine to poor countries. They just pulled that video and threatened to give me a strike. Um, so that's what's happening. So one great way to support us is where independent left news supports us, which is at patreon.com and submitted this story. Facebook intensifies political censorship in advance of the Chauvin verdict. So this came out, they found this out right as the Chauvin verdict happened. Obviously he was been found guilty. We're waiting on what the sentencing is, but Facebook was ramping up again. Oh, there's going to be civil unrest after the verdict using it as an excuse to censor people's posts on their, on their platform. Well, they're a private company. They should be allowed to now they should become a public utility. Now everybody uses it. It's like a, po it's like a, it's like a park. It's like a, it's, it's, I don't buy that limit content that could lead to civil unrest or violence in advance of the jury verdict of the trial of Derek Chauvin. The Minneapolis police officer was found guilty Tuesday on all three counts for the murder of George Floyd last year. So this is what they were getting ready leading up to that verdict limit content that could lead to civil unrest or violence. So if he would have been found innocent and you went on Facebook and like, this is bullshit, man, we need to go to the streets and peacefully protest. Facebook was going to pull that down. Again, if you advocate for violence on social media, there's already laws in place for that. <laughs> oh man. Zucker, by the way, just bought more real estate on the island of Kauai. There's homeless people on Kauai, lost their jobs. There's tent cities and various beach parks that the mayor of that island did, especially a lot of people lost their jobs after the pandemic because it's all mainly people working in the hospitality industry. It was a big tourist island. Did he buy one of these hotels that's going out of business or some apartment complex and say, I'm going to put people, all these people in housing? No, just bought up more land and put up no trespassing signs. Vice President of Content Policy, Monica Bickert, adopted a law and order stance, writing that company moderators were working around the clock to prevent online content from being linked to offline harm and doing our part to keep the community safe. Well, this, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is in the World Socialist website, WSWS.org. WSW, I'll put the link in the whole article in the show notes, but oh, the old keep us safe game. We're censoring you to keep you safe. The Patriot Act is to keep you safe. We're going to surveil all of you to keep you safe. Edward Snowden thought that's what he was doing and then realized, no, that was not, that was not true. Oh, we're going to keep, we're keep you safe. We need to, we need to prevent you from, from exercising your first amendment right on social media to keep you safe. So if you post videos of like police committing crimes during a protest, commit police using excessive force, police smashing out windows and then arresting people for it. They could use this guideline. Oh, you're, 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 you're pushing for violence. So we need to keep our community safe. No, I'm putting on social media that the co the cops are lying and being violent. Oh, we got to keep you safe. YouTube pulled off a video of mine for, med they called it medical misinformation. And I didn't say anything that isn't widely accepted about COVID-19 or the vaccines. I believe COVID-19 is real. I've been vaccinated. I'm just mad. And others in mainstream media are critical of Bill Gates for, with, for, for not releasing the patents to the vaccine so that poor countries can, poor countries are begging for the vaccine. Nothing that I said is medical misinformation, but they just, they just did it. See how these, these guidelines, they can just arbitrarily do whatever you want. You're trying to communicate with friends or family. Well, we can just pull it. We're keeping you safe. Medical misinformation. <laughs> Double plus good. Using language typical of the ongoing law enforcement assault on protesters over the past year, Bickert wrote that Facebook had deemed Minneapolis to be a high risk location. Oh, so you posted videos, you were at a protest 
They just killed Dante Wright a couple of weeks ago and there's protests. The military police showed up armed to the teeth. So if you post about that, you might be high risk. See this language, this kind of vague fascist language, you're high risk. No, I think we need police reform. Oh, that sounds a little high risk. I don't think we should be spending all this money on the cops getting militarized gear and rubber bullets and tear gas. We should maybe spend that money on housing the homeless and rebuilding neighborhoods, not gentrifying them, but rebuilding neighborhoods. Oh, that's a little high risk, a little high risk. And Bickert said, we will continue to monitor events on the ground to determine if additional locations will be deemed as temporary high risk locations. Working in concert with the police to arrest activists. That's what that says. Monitor events. So you show video footage of cops abusing their power and abusing the law. Ooh, you're a little, you're a little at risk. You might be a high, you, you might be a high risk. That's not safe. It's you're, they could say, oh, you're putting a cop's info on social media. No, I'm just videotaping a police officer in a police uniform, beating the crap out of somebody. Remember I showed the video a couple of weeks ago from the Minneapolis police going slash their tires. That's illegal. They don't get, they can't do that. So if I put that on Facebook, am I, am I at risk? Am I causing problems? Am I making things unsafe? Copaganda. Bickard states that social media platform considers Derek Chauvin to be a public figure who has voluntarily placed himself in the public eye. And you can't go after him. And that company policy against bullying and harassment means we will remove attacks on the now convicted murderer that are severe. So Derek Chauvin's protected. That's community. That's keeping our community safe. A convicted murderer. Bicker concludes that given the risk of violence following the announcement of the verdict, the company will remain in close contact in close contact with local, state, and federal law enforcement. Oh, that's what your community guidelines are. So now we can arrest anyone who was at a Dante ride or any rally, any defund the police, Black Lives Matter rally. Oh, you were. Ooh. So now people are getting text messages from the government. You're, oh, bzz, they sense your phone. Oh, you posted on Facebook. We're going to maybe forward that to law enforcement. And law enforcement can just, they, they did this in Ferguson. They just found Black Lives Matter activists that were there using social media and cell phone towers and rounded them up. So Facebook's going to help get people rounded up. So if you go to a rally, wear your mask. All you anti-maskers uh, don't realize that wearing a mask stops facial recognition. Don't post to your social media using watch out because they can find you and say, uh-oh, and report you to law enforcement, federal law enforcement. You know those unmarked cops that just show up and do whatever they want? Sorry. Facebook and the other tech platforms, corporations that are the center of the enormous fortunes amassed by the billionaire Wall Street oligarchs have been working with the state intelligence apparatus for years now to perfect methods of censorship that suppress left-wing politics and block workers from using social media to organize their struggles. So let's say you're in a union and you're getting shitty wages and you can't renegotiate your deal because your billionaire owners who made record profits during a pandemic don't want to pay their workers more. And you organize a peaceful labor stoppage or a strike. Well, Facebook's going to help the intelligence apparatus target you. 
isn't Zuckerberg cool? Everybody over at YouTube and Twitter, aren't they so cool working with the law enforcement and the intelligence apparatus? You organize a labor strike? Ooh, that violates our community guidelines. You see how this works? I just repeated the sentiments against Bill Gates from major media outlets, Salon, The Guardian, all said Bill Gates, it's wrong that he's not releasing the patents. It's vaccine apartheid. Not my words, their words. And I am now, they pull the video down and threaten a copyright strike because I'm using, that's medical misinformation to YouTube, which is owned by Google, which works hand in glove with the CIA. How do we know this? Eric Schmidt has been working with the CIA. It's in the book when WikiLeaks met Google. They're coming for you. You think they can't happen to you? And we're going to really talk about the oppression of the Chinese or Russian government? Are those governments oppressive? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But why don't we focus on the oppression of this government and unelected tech billionaires who give a lot of money mainly to the Democratic Party to get away with this crap? Look, the Republicans are fascist too. I hate both parties. If you like either party, you're a sucker. You're a chump. You've been drinking some dumbass Kool-Aid. But Silicon Valley specifically spends a lot of money with Democrats. Democrats like former Navy intelligence officer Pete Buttigieg. Silicon Valley came up with all this data collection, facial recognition, and the intelligence community and law enforcement went, hey, let's start working together. <laughs> Now we know what everybody's doing. So please support us at patreon.com where independent left news did or uh, rockfin.com slash Graham L, which is blockchain, it's cryptocurrency. So support what we're doing there because YouTube has stopped. Uh, we've been demonetized since February 1st and now they're threatening copyright strikes and deplatforming. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, follow the money, connect the dots. That's where you get the truth. Shave your knuckles for justice. Ba boom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're unsubs we've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.